Hey everybody, Dr. Legrand here at Optimal Mind Performance. And today we're gonna to talk about specifically fish oils and how they can actually benefit people with ADHD. But before we all get started, if you are watching here on Facebook or YouTube, there is actually a free guide for both for parents who have kids with ADHD as well as adults that have ADHD. And that is in the description below if you're on YouTube. And then if you're watching here on Facebook, it is above on the description. So you wanna definitely check that out if you actually want some further guidance. It goes over all my protocols as far as what supplements to implement as well as what nutrients, vitamins, uh, labs to run. It's a very exhausted list um, that really can help you if you need some further guidance as far as when it comes to ADHD, whether you're an adult with ADHD or if you are a parent taking care of a child with ADHD. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in as far as when it comes to fish oils. Now I know a lot of you, most of you have actually have heard from somebody or your doctor or read something about how fish oils can help with ADHD, but not sure exactly how much you should be taking, what kind of quality of type of fish oils you should be taking, and why does it actually help with actually ADHD? What is it doing specifically? That's what I'm going to be covering here on this live stream today, or if you're actually watching this replay, of course, that's what I'm going to be going over. But let's first talk about what it does specifically for ADHD, why it's such a benefit. Well, specifically what fish oil does, but more specifically omega-3s and omega-6s, these types of fats are really beneficial for a lot of people, but people who have ADHD, what does help is help improve the functionality of the brain because our brain is made up of fat it does help improve the functionality of the brain but more and more specifically it does help the transmission as well as the functionality of neurotransmitters specifically dopamine they found this in research and that is very important when it comes to ADHD in fact if you're taking ADHD medication it is because you're trying to help with your neurotransmitters such as dopamine which is a huge you know fallback with people who have ADHD and other mental health issues the other thing that it comes to when it comes to really using fish oils is it's also anti-inflammatory. So this can help with things such as brain fog as well as just hyperactivity issues. But when it comes to actually the research and looking at specifically the research that I've seen over the years, what they have found for people is they've done it using a series of like three months where they'll have kids or adults be taking fish oils for three months. And after three months, they'll find significant improvements, not only in functionality with the brain, but also just just improvements with reading, be able improvements with hyperactivity, a lot of different ADHD scores that they look at, they find significant improvements upon that with the minor symptoms that come with ADHD. Now it comes down to, okay, what specifically, how much? Now, when it comes to the research on this, there's two different types of really comes to fish oils. There's your omega-3s, known also as EPA, and there's the omega-6s, which is DHA. So when you're actually buying your omega-3 supplement, you're probably wondering, okay, how much ratios, how much should I be consuming. And what they've seen in the research, specifically EPA, so omega-3s is where they kind of seen a lot of the benefit from here, is taking anywhere for at least 450 to 600 milligrams a day for a child. Now, what I usually recommend and where I've seen some of the other research is actually taking more like 1,000 milligrams of EPA a day when it comes to take supplements who see the benefits as far as what you want to see when you're taking actually fish oils. But also getting a good balance between EPA and DHEA. So DHEA is also the mega sixes and usually the rule of thumb of this is I always say three or four to one so about four times the amount with EPA and then one ratio of course of the omega sixes so if you're taking a thousand milligrams of EPA or omega threes you're going to take about roughly about 100 to 200 well actually eh, about 300 to 400 I would even say of the DHEA so these are actually the amount you should be taking as far as when it comes to the research that I have seen that kind of be benefits when it comes to eating ADHD. The other specific thing when it comes to, okay, as far as when it comes to, are they safe? Taking things like this, is it safe for your child or is it safe for you as an adult? They are safe. Um, there hasn't been any kind of, uh, even with medications, but you always want to check with your doctor first if this is something you should be implementing on a daily basis. But you should also be looking at the quality of the types of fish oils you should be taking and making sure it doesn't have mercury, other contaminants, because that can also make the ADHD situation worse if it is contaminated as mercury. So always make to check back on the label and if you don't see the label before purchasing it maybe ask the person at the store who might know a little bit more information of where it's been manufactured and so forth but as far as what I usually recommend as far as what types or brands of fish oils that I usually recommend to all my patients Barleen's uh, is a really good one especially uh, the Barleen's uh, swirl it's really great and tasting it's more of a liquid form especially for kids who have a hard time taking fish oils they have different flavors like lemon 
orange. I think they have you know, they even have a cream orange flavored, which is great. It actually does taste like an orange cream popsicle. So you'll have an easier time to giving it to your kids. And that's Bartolines. You can find it on Amazon, wherever, as well as um, Carlson. Actually, yeah, Carlson's is the other one that I do recommend that are usually typically really good brands that are don't have any contamination or mercury in them. And so those are things that you can actually look at. So I hope you guys found this really beneficial. If you want actually further guidance as far as what supplements, nutrients, what labs to run for your kids with ADHD or for your adult with has ADHD, I do have, again, a free guide that you could check on the link description below. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can check out those free guides. And if you're watching this on Facebook, it should be above or maybe in the comment section below wherever I did leave it to download that free guide. So until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. And remember, you guys have an optimal mind. Thanks. Bye.